Hi, welcome to another video. So, I like to keep testing a lot of workflows in order to make my coding workflow much smoother. And I've covered a lot of them for a while now. But recently, I've been trying a new workflow where I created a deep research workflow in N8N. I have integrated it into my AI coder, RuCode, and now RuCode can automatically trigger the workflow and allow it to do research on any new topic or anything else, letting it gain deep context on any subject. It can go through and search for information, crawl sources, and then run through those results with an AI to make a really concise summarization for your AI coder to reference. So, let me show you how you can set it up yourself and integrate something similar in your AI coder as well and increase your AI coder's performance by quite a lot. Now, I'll be making all of this workflow in N8N, which is pretty simple as it's mainly drag and drop, and a lot of people use it these days. For search and scraping, I'll be using Scrapeless. If you haven't heard of Scrapeless, it's a leading infrastructure company focused on powering AI agents, automation workflows, and web crawling. Scrapeless provides the essential building blocks that enable developers and businesses to create intelligent, autonomous systems efficiently. At its core, Scrapeless delivers browser-level tooling and protocol-based APIs, such as a headless cloud browser, deep SERP API, and universal crawling APIs that serve as a unified, modular foundation for AI agents and automation platforms. So now let's dive in and let me show you how this all works. First of all, you can hit the link in the description and get yourself signed up. You should get some free credits as well as some discounts. So just get yourself signed up and you should be good to go. You can see a ton of options here which you can explore, but let's stick to the topic and go to the settings, then select the API Key Management tab Create your own API key and keep it because we'll need it going ahead. Now, head on over to N8N and create a new workflow. In here, you will need to first add a trigger. The trigger in this case will be an execute by another workflow, which will allow us to then make another MCP-based workflow and then make this workflow a tool in the MCP workflow allowing our coder to use it accordingly. So, just do this, and then in the input, add an input named Query, and then save it. Now, once that is done, we can head on over and start to add the scrapeless blocks. So, just hit this Add option here, then search for Scrapeless, and you'll see this option. Here you'll see options like Search, Scrape, and so on. First, our workflow should search, and then it will scrape. So, let's just add the search block. Now this will ask you for the search query, which you can just add from the previous node, and you should be good to go. But we'll also need to add the credentials, or the API key, of Scrapeless here. So, just hit this option, then hit the Add Credential option, which will open up this modal. Just paste your API key over here, and you should be good to go. Now, just hit this test option, and this will output the result of the search and related information in a bit over here. So, that's great. Each result has a link, snippet, and everything, and it is insanely fast as well. Now just head on over to the workflow and add another block called split out. This is so that we can remove the unnecessary information and just keep the organic results that we can then scrape. So, let's just add that here. And now we can go ahead and grab the organic results block in here. Then just hit the execute option and it will exclude the results accordingly, which is pretty good as well. Next, we have to scrape all the pages as well. So, we can just head on over, then search for scrapeless, and then add the scrape option over here as well. Then just add the link in the to scrape field and it will scrape all the pages. You can hit this execute step option and it will do that 
and in a bit, you'll see the output here. Now, once that is done, we need to also get this summarized. I am going to be using the Gemini model to do this because that is the best model to handle these contexts, as it has a 1 million token context window, and the Flash model is also fast and fully free. So, I'm going to add this AI agent block here, and now you will need to add a system prompt here. You'd have to ask it to make you a summarization based on the original query, and then summarize the given context based on the question, and it will just start to do that in a bit. You'll also need to add the model here, and it will be Gemini for this case. You can just use it for free, since Gemini is free. So, just use that. Anyway, that is mainly it, and this is now done. This is how our N8N agent will work, but we can't yet run it with MCP. So, what we'll need to do is create another workflow here, and then in the trigger, just choose the MCP trigger. Then add a tool here, select the N8N workflow option, connect that workflow here, and ask AI to enter the input here, and that's it. You can now save this and make this active, and then just open the MCP trigger and copy the URL here. Then you can just head on over to Windsurf, Cursor, or Klein, and here you can easily go in the MCP server option, paste the link here, and name it something like Scrapeless Deep Research. Save it, and you should see that in a bit. It will get added, and you'll see the tool. Now, we can go ahead and ask our coder here to use the MCP server, and tell me how to use Claude Code SDK with JavaScript, and you'll see that it will go ahead and call the MCP server here. Boom, in a bit, you'll get the answer, which looks good and amazing, which is quite awesome. You can use it in your daily workflow with coding, or if you do something else, you can still use Scrapeless to build any kind of AI agent for you, or for context and similar tasks, and it works amazingly well. So, go ahead and check Scrapeless out through the link in the description and build your super-powered workflows. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.